Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time RQ7 Shadow Pix Pilot Edition. So what I have here is the Pix Pilot V3, which is an F427, STM32 F427 based flight controller. So it actually has two megabytes of flash in here, which means it can run the full Arduino Pilot, which some of the smaller boards just can't do. The disadvantage with the Pix Pilot is it only has 256 megabytes of RAM, means it can't do some of the big scripting jobs. So uh, large Lua scripts won't run, for example, aerobatics won't run. But this is going in RQ7 Shadow Drone. This is a drone, um, is a big, um, long distance reconnaissance plane and it won't be doing aerobatics. It's just not what it's built for. So I don't need those uh, that scripting for this one. So this uh, doesn't need maybe some of the other flight controllers that I've been working with, but it'd be a perfect match for what I'm going to put in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a, um, for this RQ7, this will be electronics only. So for anybody who's looking for the RQ7 Balsa build, is a completely separate set of videos. So just quickly running through what we've got in the box, a little bit of an unboxing, but um, you know, I don't want to do that here. Uh, we have a power management unit, nicely packaged in a CNC aluminum case. Uh, we have the Pixpilot MFE, Make Flight Easy Pix Pilot V3 uh, itself, which is nicely packaged just the way I like it, no soldering to connect anything here. Uh, there are 14 PWM outputs on here, including an S bus in and an S bus out separately wired, and eight standard S bus ports and eight auxiliary ports. And then we have two CAN ports, two I2C ports, two telemetry ports, two GPS ports, a serial one, serial two, uh, sorry, serial five, and then a safety switch and a power one and two. So that should give me everything I need to connect. Still haven't decided whether I'm going to use Express LRS or Crossfire in this. I have started working with Crossfire. I haven't quite figured it out, so we shall see. But uh, that they're, they're pretty much almost interchangeable, except for one thing which I really care about. The standard GPS that comes with the flight controller is a M8N, which is, I mean, it's, it's the standard GPS that you often get with flight controllers, but uh, it's a little bit dated, but good enough. It'll do the job. And then, of course, we have a manual, some double -side, various bits of double-sided tape and some cables. So for the electronics, there's a fairly straightforward ArduPilot flight controller build. So for anybody just putting a, a, a receiver uh, in to control the plane, you certainly could fly it like that. But what I have here is a Make Fly Easy Pix Pilot 3. And this is the this is an M8N GPS that comes with the Pix Pilot 3 as a package. Here we have the safety switch where I can turn the servos and everything on or off. Right here I have a Crossfire Nano receiver with wires for Crossfire radio control and Mavlink, and that's the uh, that's the antenna for that. I have a 6S, uh, it's only a single 4000 milliamp hour battery uh, 6S, but I plan to put two of them in. And you know what, it'd be interesting to see how the center of gravity works with the battery right now. There, if, if you can look in here, you can see that all of the servo connections are here. So I have Radivator times two. I have flaps times two, ailerons times two, motor times one, and 
than a controller for the, the light switch. Just want to mention one thing about the Artipilot setup on this plane, which is really interesting. So of course it's a it's an A-tail. So there's radivators and Artipilot has that set up as radivators. But on this big wing, this huge wing, we've got ailerons, flaps and flaps and ailerons. But I've got it set up with something called differential spoilers. That means if I turn to the right, both surfaces move. So it actually uses both control surfaces for our aileron. And, but, and you notice that the outside or the aileron surface moves more than the inside surface, which is the, the flap surface. And then of course it's also acts as flaps. So flaps down flaps and down. crow flaps. Now if the flaps are down, the control surfaces still move. And that's all differential spoilers in RD Pilot. And there she goes! Oh my god, it works!
Oh, I did it. Ah, oh, yes. Well, the next one will be easy. Ah, oh, yeah.